Hi guys, welcome to a video sponsored by Papa John's. Today we're going to be taking a deeper look into Squad Battles, a very, very curious game mode for a lot of people who haven't delved into it yet and uh, do want to try and pick up the most amount of points, the most amount of coins, the better rewards and everything else like that. Now, with the uh, Squad Battles, it's always been a thing which I put off and I was not really interested in it when it was first announced at Foot Live, but because of the rewards... Because of the way it makes you better at the game, which a lot of people are looking to get, we're going to be doing a little mini three-part series in association with Papa John's guys and uh, the new Deep Crust Pizza, and that is taking a look at the ins and outs of squad battles. We're not just going to be talking about the menus, we're not just going to be messing around with it. I'm going to be trying to potentially help you, because that's what everyone wants to do. So, first things first, guys. If you do want MSP, PSN codes, go and check out g2a.com. The link is down below. Try and hit over 3,000 likes. That'd be sick. And subscribe to me. Hit that bell button so you get notified when I do upload videos. And also check out Papa John's. Their link is down below. Also, hashtag deep crust. So, what's going to be happening today, guys? Like I said, it's a three-part series. Today, we're going to take a look at building the ultimate team for squad battles. Now, the ultimate team on FIFA could be a 195-rated team. It could be um, a 197-rated team, but that's not realistic for a lot of people. This account, it could be realistic, but I'm not going to do that today. What I want to do is build the ultimate team to go and smash these. Now... If you guys don't know already, and it's worth listening because it could help you when it comes to playing squad battles, trying to get the maximum points, so you guys could potentially hit into the top 100. Some I'm yet to do. Uh, I have been in there, but I've never stayed in there. The next one is to get as many points as you potentially can. Now, for every four games, I would say for a player with a reasonable um, skill level when it comes to playing FIFA... I would play on Legendary, and uh, in the second part to this, guys, I will be showing you how to beat Legendary and hopefully try and pick up maximum points or above that 2,000 mark just to help you finish in Elite 1 and walk away uh, with 2 Mega Packs and 39,000 coins because these coins are there for everybody to go and grab, and if I can show you how to do so, it'd be absolutely brilliant. So first things first, guys, I'm going to show you exactly what's going to go down. You press Y, you can take a look at people's teams. You see the first team is not really the strongest, pretty average, in fact. The next team as well, pretty average, but very, very sweaty um, BPL team there. The next one, we're starting to get better level players in there. You can see the likes of Matic, Lalana, um, also Sterling. And the final one is usually a god squad. And we are not disappointed here, guys. We're coming up against Larson. He's us and uh, also Bobby Firmino and also Salah. Uh, and obviously one to watch Sanchez. A few other decent players and on the bench. He's got Neuer, he's got Silva, he's got Koulibaly, Keita and Hernandez as a striker. So some nice players in there. Now you don't need an evened team to match them players. A lot of people do think so, but that isn't going to be the case, guys. So if you move over to your squads, we have got a team ready to be built. Now, in my experience, using the 4-3 um, formation or any variations of that, it can be a little bit of a struggle when it comes um, to uh, breaking it down in the midfield. So what I've done is I've built a 4-1-2-1-2 narrow formation. It is a pretty narrow formation as well. If you guys want to swap it up in-game, in feel free to. And uh, today we're going to be building a reasonably cheap, a mid-range team, I'm not going to take it over 50,000 coins because you do want an ultimate team. Now, in the defence and the goalkeeper, goalkeeper, I wouldn't really say is an issue. I would want to go near Premier League, but a lot of people probably won't want to go near Premier League. And I'm going to stick to what I know. In the goalkeeper position, guys, I'm going to go with Donnarumma. He is uh, got decent stats on the diving and also the reflexes. That's coming very, very handy for when I've used him in my Serie A team, in uh, Serie A team on the road to glory. In the defence, I am going to stick with Musaccio because he's a defender I'm definitely growing to love. Um, so he's going to go in there. In the centre-back position next to him, we're going to go with another, and I'm, when I'm looking for a defender, guys, I'm looking for over 70 pace mark, um, even close to the 70 pace mark. Like you can see our stories all right there, um, but you could probably get away with putting in Tonelli or even Caceres or even Jesus if needed as well. So we're going to go with Tonelli. Uh, the Italian defender, and uh, then in the right back position, we are going to go for strong links. So, um, for Tonelli, we need a Napoli player where there isn't any or an Italian. So, I'm going to go over Barte, um, who defensively sound as well with 74 defending 85 pace. And then on the left hand side, guys, we are going to put in a left back, which is one I trust on the road to glory. And you guys know how much I love players on the road to glory. We are going to go with Rodriguez. 
Now we move up into the defence, um, defensive midfield, sorry, and also the uh, centre midfield. So we need a lot of passers, and for this, I am going to go with a French, and it is a very, very mixed um, team, this one. It's a little bit of a hybrid. Hopefully, it will not come up to, up to over 50k. Um, in the uh, defensive midfield position, guys, I am going to go with... Um, Gulavogu, the uh, Wolfsburg CDM, defensively sound. You can see in the world glory has been surpassed now with Bakayoko, but unfortunately, if you do want Bakayoko, it's going to cost you a little bit of money. In the centre midfield position on the right hand side, we are going to go with Cyprien. Um, costs a couple of K, but he's absolutely solid. And then next to him, Actually, we need to start going. Actually, no, I am going to take out Gullivoggy. Uh, I'm going to go with a French CDM. Either Gonalons. I'd be happy with Gonalons, but Toussaint. I do like the looks of uh, look of uh, Toussaint and would help me a hell of a lot actually going here. So I'm going to go with him. I've got decent height-wise. What is he height-wise? Six foot one, so reasonably tall. Cyprien as well, you can see um, he's at five foot eleven. And then the centre midfield position on the left hand side is going to be someone with decent passing and uh, a player which I love. But I'd, I'm tempted not to put him in there. I'm going to see what other cam I would maybe put in there instead of him. Because basically in these positions, you're looking for a solid defensive player who will sit back with the defence. You're looking for passes in the midfield. So if you look at cams, and um, would I be happy putting Ben Arfa there? You know what? I probably would, guys. I probably would be putting happy Ben Arthur at camp. Because pace, like I said, isn't a massive issue. In the CDM in the CM position on the left hand side, we are going to put our final player in for care. That completes the trio of defence and midfield. And now we can go for a perfect link attack. Now, before I do finish the video, guys, I will confirm the price of this team as it should help you. You can see Ben Arthur, 85 dribbling, passing and shooting is pretty reasonable as well. And there you can see Fekir, decent pace, decent dribbling, decent passing and shooting. Cyprien, very well-rounded card and Toussaint, very good um, defensively, in my opinion, with the 84 physical as well. The defence fits all the criteria which I want, which is over the 70 and decent defending as well over the 80 apart from the right back and left back and high reflexes on the goalkeepers. So in the striker position, and there is one player which is going to cost 10,000 coins. And he's a player who I've recently, recently started to absolutely love, guys. And it is Gamero from Atletico Madrid. Brilliant, brilliant striker. On this account, I don't think I've used him yet. Uh, it costs about 10,000 coins packed. Um, but honestly, it is brilliantly uh, well placed and unfortunately doesn't have the four star skills but his medium weight medium medium work rates aren't that noticeable either and then to finish off the team we're moving away from France we are going to go with Liga 1 uh, sorry La Liga for the a little bit of a free Liga and that uh, you have got the likes of uh, Benzema, you have got Ben Yedda, and he was my other partner, guys, partner in crime, in fact, uh, for that. And it's a nice, actually, it's a nice looking symmetrical hybrid squad builder we built there. Now, I would put that hands down as the ultimate team. Uh, when it comes to looking deeper into it, guys, normal team to play the squad battles. You've got the passes, you've got the finishes, you've got the pace uh, as well, and you've got the high dribbling on a lot of them. Um, so one of the things, uh, four of the things, actually, you're looking for when you're playing squad battles. Now, I would recommend not playing a world class. Like, you look at the ranking system between the... Um, and I will show you actually. Uh, I would recommend taking a look at squad battles as we take a look there. If you go to play someone, it gives you uh, difficulty selection. You've got beginner, which is going to give you minimal, minimal points. Uh, you've got amateur, semi pro, and professional. A lot of people will probably go towards professional world class. I wouldn't recommend going on world class. I would recommend going straight to legendary. If you're the ultimate player, play on ultimate. But I'd recommend staying legend legendary because that's where the maximum points are going to come from. You can see we're getting 1,926. That does not include the bonus points you do get. You guys have got to score five goals. You've got to get 60% of the possession. You've got to get 10 shots on targets and uh, and basically keep a decent passing accuracy up. If you manage to hit that, you can hit in the regions of 2,800 points just for beating legendary 5-4. Obviously, you're losing points for giving away fouls, so be careful on that. And you're losing points for giving away goals. But the five goal is... If you guys can hit five goal on world class and can't hit on legendary, play world class. If you can hit five goals on legendary, stick with legendary. Legendary because not many people in the top 100 are playing with ultimate now obviously squad battles is set up for four games over the five day period Monday to Friday the competition starts at 1 a.m. on a Monday so this one as you guys will know will have started now and uh, it finishes on 1 a.m. on Monday so that's seven days but the five days of four games that's a 20 game you get a one bonus game as well which we had last week with Griezmann not sure if it's going to be out this week but that takes you to 21 games 
Then Saturday and Sunday give something else. There is an eight hour refresh. Um, so 1 a.m. you refresh for the weekend. Boom, four games. That expires at 9 a.m. in the morning. So then you've got another four games to play between 9 and 4. It refreshes at 4 then, and then it refreshes yet again um, at, I think, 1. Uh, no, sorry, 5 p.m. it refreshes. So it's four games, four games, four games. So 12 games per day on Saturday and Sunday, taking it to a total of about 44 slash 45 games, depending if the special one is there. And uh, with the team guys out, uh, even if you lose against uh, the uh, showcase team, you still get high points. I did that last week with uh, Griezmann. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this little bit of an informational video about a team where we're building the ultimate team for it. Obviously you've only seen the first part of it. The next part is going to be how to do the gameplay, how to play against it. Very, very different to online and hopefully you guys do understand. And then we'll do a recap just to help you guys um, on the third video just so you can walk away with maximum prizes because that's on this channel exactly what I want to give you. Maximum points and everything else like that. Obviously, I don't think we're playing these teams tomorrow, but in the next video, guys, we'll be playing someone, and you'll be watching a full game of me of how to beat Legendary on Squad Battles. Nep's done it, Skills has done it, they've talked to me, we've helped each other do it, and uh, it's definitely helping a lot of people in the community, and hopefully I can do that with you. Massive thank you for Papa John's for sponsoring this video as well. Make sure you check them out, guys, um, as well. Awesome, awesome pizza company, and uh, yeah, hashtag Deep Crust, guys. See you all later. Have a very, very nice rest of your day.